Our word of the week this week is a three-word complex. Let's take a look at it. So all three words pertain to speaking evil or slandering people. It's literally to down-talk people. So first up is our verb, kataleo. I speak evil, I slander, kata, down, laleo, speak, to speak down or negatively about someone or something. Then we get our noun, which is katalalia, and that is slander itself. And then we get a verbal noun, uh, katalalos, which is a slanderer. So uh, to put the three together, a slanderer, katalalos, slanders, kataleo, and the things that the slanderer speaks is katalalia, slander. So let's take a look at an example of each, the verb, the noun, and the sort of verbal noun. First up, the verb. This is James chapter 4, verse 11. All the readings are from the ESV with the koine supplied. Uh, do not speak evil against one another. Katalalete, uh, brothers, the one who speaks against a brother, ho katalalon, or judges his brother, speaks evil, katalale, against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. So notice, we get the verb in three different forms here. So katalalete, the first one, is, it's a second person plural and it's imperative. Do not speak down, do not talk down or slander or speak evil against your brother. Then the second one is a participle that's a substantive. Ho katalalon, the one who speaks against his brother, the one who down talks. And then finally, katalale, a third person singular in the indicative, he speaks evil against or he slanders the law and judges the law. Let's move on to the noun. This is 2 Corinthians 12 verse 20. For I fear that perhaps when I come, I may find you not as I wish, and that you may find me not as you wish, that perhaps there may be quarreling, jealousy, anger, hostility, slander, gossip, conceit, and disorder. And the word slander here is katalaliai, it's plural. So it's literally slanders. And if you go back and look at the verse, most of these are plurals. Um, so he's not talking about there being just one thing, like these, these are things that are happening in the community, and uh, I, I hope when I get there, this is not what I find. Um, finally, we're going to look at the verbal noun, a nomina gentis. What does that mean? It means a word that um, is defined by the action. So a slanderer is a slanderer not by birth, uh, not by uh, profession, but by virtue of slandering. A person is a slanderer who slanders, right? A plumber is a plumber because he plums. A teacher is a teacher because he or she teaches. Um, so our, our reading for that is in Romans chapter 1, verses 19 through 31. Here we go. They were filled with all matter, uh, manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanderers, katalalus, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. That sounds like a fun crowd, huh? I mean, there's a lot going on in those, in those few verses. And he lumps in the middle of this uh, vicious and hateful group, including murderers, he lumps right in the middle, slanderers, katalalus, plural. So our word of the week is a complex this week, three different words, katalaleo, the verb, I speak evil, I slander, uh, katalalia, the, th the thing being spoken, slander, and katalalos, the, the verbal noun, the nomina gentis, the slanderer. I uh, hope that was good for you. I hope, you're not a, uh, hope you don't find yourself in the camp of the word complex very often in life. Um, 
But if you do, that our normal closing may apply most to you this week. Uh, Caris Kyrene Humine, grace and peace to you as opposed to slander.